Last week, 17 people were gunned down in the French capital by gunmen claiming to have been trained by terror groups Al-Qaeda and the Islamic State. The violence has sparked fears that other countries could be hit by similar attacks. When American symbols were under attack in the 90s, Cape Town's Planet Hollywood restaurant was targeted. And recently, there's been widespread condemnation of South Africa's role in the torturing and illegal rendition of Pakistani national Khalid Rashid. Meanwhile, the continent is still reeling after Boko Haram's latest attacks in Nigeria. The Nigerian government says around 150 people were killed in Baga last week. But Amnesty International has disputed this, putting the death toll at closer to 2,000. Some reports have suggested that South African troops could soon be sent to Nigeria. The possible deployment has led to concerns the country could become vulnerable to attacks on home soil. South Africa is not immune. South Africa is part of the larger world. However, well, firstly, I wouldn't be surprised if cases of terrorism or recruits for these terrorist outfits do leave the South African shores in order to perpetrate such acts abroad um, or to be trained uh, in it. Our country, yes, is open to people coming. But this openness to those elements, it is used as a place of planning and getting together and recovering and thinking ahead of action in other countries, not inside South Africa. Wanted international terrorist Samantha Luthwaite, a.k.a. the White Widow, spent time in South Africa in 2010 and 2011. She was one of the suspected masterminds behind the deadly siege on Nairobi's Westgate Mall in September 2013. Bongiwa Kumalo, Johannesburg.